Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. This is going to be for Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please remember to flip and switch the roles, guys. I could be talking about someone else in your energy. Also remember to just take what resonates and leave it does not fit. Cancer, I'm so sorry. I had some Skittles <laughs> and I barely eat candy, right? But I really wanted some Skittles, like, I don't know. And I got this big bag sitting up here that I'd never even touch. So, my apologies. But let's see. What's going on for Cancer Spirit? Messages for Cancer. What is going on for Cancer? So, you know, Skittles represent, uh, well, <laughs> they look like the rainbow, the colors of the rainbow. So, I'm getting serendipity, a happy ending, um, pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. <laughs> okay, wealth, happiness. So let's see, what else for cancer? Okay, what, what can we get for cancer? What are the messages? Let's see. Somebody here could be a bisexual or gay, okay? Okay, bottom of the deck we have hero. You are on a hero's journey and the hero of your journey is you. Be brave, patient, and make calculated moves. Be discerning about others around you. You cannot go to war with someone if you don't give them one. Don't let anyone bait you to get you to fight. Rise above the storm. Don't give in to anger and show wisdom. Okay. So, I'm definitely, I'm getting, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. I'm getting air sign energy. What else for Cancer? All right, so we have King of Fire. <laughs> Maybe Aries Leo Sag <laughs> instead. Or you have this somewhere in your chart, but it says this represents a masculine energy who could be an astrological fire sign or have dominant fire signs in their natal chart. A king of fire displays traits of passion, intensity, creativity, love for community, and leadership. He is fearlessly, fearless, I mean, fiercely <laughs> protective. He brings transformation, transmutation, is daring, dynamic, and enthusiastic. Okay, some of you guys could be starting a business here, but I feel like you're setting a lot of boundaries in your life. You're stepping up to the plate. You're saying what you need to say and you're moving away. You don't give a fuck who gets mad about it or whatever the hell. You're moving on. Just period. The King of Wands is definitely somebody that's very passionate. They're goal-oriented. Okay, they're going to get the job done. Okay, some of you guys could be stepping into a manager position or you could be starting your own business here. Okay, but then we have Enigma. Mystery is present. Information and signs are coming in cold. This is also an omen about yourself or people in your sphere who are being secretive, hard to read, or cryptic. Some things just aren't ready to be revealed. You are in pursuit of knowledge that must be earned. Or people are keeping things from you. Explore more. Hmm. Okay, we're going to clarify that shit. <laughs> what else for Cancer Spirit? All right, thank you. So we have take action. Now is the time to make a move. Do it. Don't wait. You have been deciding whether or not you should take a step. And the answer is yes. Be brave. Do what you know you need to so you can get, the, get to the next step. Now is not the time for hesitation. If you hesitate, the opportunity will be lost. Time is of the essence. Make it happen. All right. Bottom of the deck is competition. I've been seeing this card all damn day. Somebody here could be in competition with a soulmate of yours. So let's see. Let's get some tarot. So there's something here that you're needing to do or that you're finding out. You could be getting, like I said, you could be getting messages in code here for things that are hard to read or hard to figure out. You want answers, and I feel like you're getting them. Maybe they're not coming in the form that you would want, but nonetheless, you're getting the answers, and it's time for you to take action on something. So we're going to see. King of, King of Wands is somebody that takes action. I just feel like there's a lot of fast movement. The hero, King of Fire, and then the taking action. I don't know. There's something that's coming here. So let's see. What's the hero card for Cancer? Or you're needing to do something specific. What's the hero card for cancer? <clears throat> yeah, so this is taking hard work. Whatever this is, it's taking hard work. Okay, you could be feeling like the wounded warrior at this time. You could be dealing with a Leo. Okay. But you could be um trying to... You could be trying to tame yourself. You're trying to hold yourself back from arguing with somebody or, or starting bullshit with somebody or indulging in the bullshit with somebody, rather. Um, so that way you can go towards a new beginning, okay? You're trying to, you're, maybe you're trying to decide if you should like slap the fuck out of somebody or if you should go ahead and do the healing work. <laughs> and I feel like, you know, mm, 
sometimes both is being called for. It depends on if that person put their hands on you or whatever the fuck. Don't just fly off the handle. But uh, something that's you're trying to gain confidence to do or stay strong about or something like that. Or some of you, there's a job offer coming in or you're trying to figure out if you should go back to school or not or you're being guided to a new job. You're being guided to strategize something so that way you can, uh, you know, plan accordingly so that way something can be victorious or come back into harmony with the temperance, that Sagittarius energy that's harmonizing. So what's the hero card, Spirit for Cancer? What's hero? Okay, yeah, Eight of Cups in reverse. <laughs> Excuse me. So Eight of Cups in reverse... Right now, you could be feeling a bit stuck or insecure. Or there's something that's just taking forever. It's like stagnancy. You could just be feeling trapped. And something that's like unemotionally fulfilling. I mean, emotionally unfulfilling. You don't like it here. Whatever this is. Something is keeping you stuck, though. It's like keeping you stagnant. This could be, maybe somebody from your past is keeping you stuck. Or you're still stuck on someone or something that you're trying to get out of. This is uh, having a hard time healing, Eight of Cups in Reverse. This is like going backwards, maybe not forwards, but I feel like mostly Eight of Cups in Reverse just talks about, um, somebody here could be feeling, you could be, there could be some insecurities here. You could just be feeling insecure. There could be something that you're moving, that you're not moving on from that you're needing to. Somebody here could be emotionally immature or unavailable emotionally here. It's like someone is faking their happiness and they're not happy. This is like lack of self-worth. For some of you, this could be this could talk about fear of commitment. This can talk about anything. Fear of abandonment. Okay, what what else for hero with the eight of cups in reverse? Oh, you're stuck with somebody that's like this. Yeah, Queen of Swords. So there, so you could be trying to cut someone off here. Or you set boundaries with someone and now they're scared to come towards you, maybe. Some of you guys want to move on from somebody, but you're scared to do so. Okay, maybe you think this person won't come back for you. You know, that could be a thing. Like, you know you need to set boundaries with somebody, but you're scared to do this or say something because you don't want this person to walk away fully. So, so abandonment issues. Somebody here could have abandonment issues. There could be somebody here that's in your energy that's keeping you stuck with their... Somebody here is like... Uh, like overpowering you in a way with their words or their actions here they could be very strict or i don't know it's like they're very bossy or demanding or something like that and you know the, the eight of cups could be could mean staying in a bad situation you could be you could have even gotten a divorce from this person or you're trying to get a divorce but i feel like this person is giving you a hard time with the process because that definitely is a process when i get married i'm getting married one goddamn time that's it please lord please <laughs> I know you have it, my past set out for me, but I'm I'm hoping <laughs> I had to change that real quick, y'all. I'm hoping that I only get prayed one time. Sheesh, I said prayed. I mean, marry one time. <laughs> okay, so let's hero with the eight of cups in reverse, queen of swords. <laughs> okay, the candy has made me goofy, y'all. Okay, page of wands. So. So yeah, I feel like you want to embark on a new journey here. You want to embark on a new journey. So this could be, few. maybe you need to cut somebody off because somebody is keeping you stuck. So, I mean, as sad as it might be, maybe you need to cut somebody off and just embark on something new, Page of Wands. There could be some communication coming in though. Page of Wands with the Queen of Swords. I feel like this person acts like they're big and bad or they're the boss of you or something like that, but they're really a fucking child. They don't, something here is off about this, but, you know, I feel like you're trying to embark on a new journey. So you're setting boundaries. You're cutting somebody off. They keep staying stuck in their life. They're staying stuck in situations. And I feel like you you can only save yourself. That's why the hero is here. You're the hero of your own journey. You got to be brave. It says be patient and make calculated moves. So I feel like that's what you're doing. The Queen of Swords is somebody that's very intelligent. When they're represented the right way, they're very intelligent. And they do make smart moves. And they make smart decisions here. They think clearly before they take action or whatever. Or they just think quick on their feet too, you know. But the page of wands is uh, maybe you need to say something to somebody that's keeping you stuck. You need to say something to them. What's this? Uh, what's the eight of cups in reverse, spirit, please, for cancer? Okay, yeah, six of wands in reverse. So, yeah, something here just keeps failing over and over again. This could be multiple people that you need to set boundaries with or cut off. Okay, but something, 
This could be ego issues. This could be pride. This could be lack of confidence. Like I said, somebody here just doesn't feel good enough or something like that. Whatever this is, is holding you back. I don't know if it's a mindset or if it's like actual people here. That's It could be with the Queen of Swords, Page of Wands. Those are people. But uh, and the Six of Wands in reverse is definitely people. I feel like somebody here is a, a groupie or they, I don't know. And you want to be free. You want to be independent. You want to be single. I just feel like you don't want to be bothered with this person. And it keeps failing any goddamn way. Give me a second, Cancer. I hate when I answer my phone and it's these goddamn people that's trying to sell you offers, trying to sell you hotel deals. I'm good. <laughs> like, leave me alone. So, you know, maybe people could be distracting you here. Somebody, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like you're, you're kind of annoyed right now, Cancer. Real shit. But the Six of Wands is something failing. Something is just, it's just somebody feels like a failure. That could possibly be what this is. Be what this is here. What's the Page of Wands? Let me see. Yeah. Somebody... Okay, yes, yeah, Seven of Swords in reverse. Hmm. Somebody here wants to confess. I feel like somebody wants to confess their feelings to you, but they need to confess something first. It's like something, it's like layers to a situation. So somebody needs to confess something or there's a secret coming out about something. I feel like you're trying to get away from somebody that keeps like, I don't know, they're, they're spreading rumors or gossiping. But the page of wands with the seven of swords is definitely somebody revealing something to you. I feel like that's good news. There's, there's a confession coming or revelation of something here. Something is coming out about something that failed in the past for some of you. You're, you're going to figure out maybe why somebody was held back or why they, why they have low self-esteem or what they're going through in their life. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's what's happening. Somebody here could be coming to tell you that they fucking were dealing with somebody that's just attention seeking somebody just dramatic or they just do too much what's the queen of swords for cancer okay seven of pentacles so yeah you're taking a long look at something you're you're, you're looking at your investments here you're or you're reviewing something i feel like you setting these boundaries with this person is going to is, is things are going to work out in your favor right there's a lot of sadness. Yeah, I told you. I feel like you're sad about something that you have to say to somebody or you're sad that you have to move on from somebody and say, you know, I'm cutting you off because you're not taking action or you're not saying what you need to say. So I feel like somebody is is stuck between a rock and a hard place because the only way that they can get to you now is if they confess or if they say something, if they take action. Okay, so I feel like communication is coming. They don't have no choice but to do this here. Five of cups with the eight of wands, nine of cups. Yeah, somebody needs to tell you how they feel about you for one. But also, it could be something here that's maybe, I don't know, maybe it's just this person internally is just going through a lot, okay? It probably ain't nobody else. Hopefully, it's not. <laughs> but, you know, I feel like, yeah, you've been patient. With the Queen of Swords, Seven of Pentacles, you've been patient. You've been invested a lot of time. But I feel like the fruits of your labor, you're going to enjoy the fruits of your labor. I feel like something is going to pay off. Your hard work is going to pay off here, Cancer, because you really set boundaries or you... You really said something to this person that made them think about what they need to do and how they need to, to handle you here. Okay, because I feel like you're, you've been mishandled. <laughs> okay, like. Give me a second, Cancer. Let me write something down for I forget. All right. So, okay. So that's that. So, um, yeah, you feel like you're wasting your time. I feel like you're still patient with this person, but as the days go on, you get even more stern, you get even more raw and blunt in your communication when there is some, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Yeah. This person's probably going to have to confess that they were stuck somewhere or stuck in a situation. Or if it's not that they were just stuck in their head or they needed to work through shit from their past that they were still harboring like pain or whatever. Right. Or oh, this is this person needing to be honest with themselves about something that keeps failing over and over and over again with this person that they invested a lot of time into, a lot of effort. They're really trying to dis dissect the situation and make sure that they're making the right decision. Yeah, it's time to be honest with yourself. Okay, that could be a story for somebody. But what is the king of fire, king of wands, spirit for cancer? 
All right, so we, yeah, we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, somebody is trying to put an ending to a burden here. This Ten is always endings. But I feel like somebody here has a lot of responsibilities, a lot of things that they have to do in their own life separately from you, Cancer, is what I'm feeling. Okay, yeah, they could be giving to another situation. Maybe they have to pay child support or you do or something like that. But there's a toxic situation or something is toxic or somebody has a toxic hold on this person. It could be somebody from this person's past here that is... They could be they could have kids with or something like that. That could be binding this person to them through, uh, you know, using money or using the children as a pawn type of thing is what I'm hearing. But yeah, something is weighing someone down. This is a burden. This is stress. This is chronic fatigue. This is feeling tired. Yeah, somebody has a lot of things on their mind or a lot of things weighing them down physically. What else for the King of Wands with the Ten of Wands? <clears throat> the page of swords yeah and the two of cups yeah so it's it's this person's feelings bro it's this person's feeling they're in love with you so this is this is this person is watching you i feel like they're scared to say something to you but they're trying to listen to their intuition to speak up but the page of swords this person is young they could be younger than you we have two pages here and one queen showing up upright so this person could be fairly young okay well we do have the king of fire upright so this person is maybe growing up hopefully but this person they're in love with you i just feel like they don't know how to communicate Okay, they could come off as like a very macho and like they have everything under control that they don't feel no type of way or they could be very egotistical or prideful, but I feel like that's weighing them the fuck down, trying to put on this facade or this fake ass exterior. It's time to own up and man up or woman up and say what you need to say. So I feel like communication is coming in, but it's, it's delayed here. Communication is definitely coming in, but it's just delayed. This person wants to really speak to you and tell you what's going on. I feel like there's a sense of paranoia or anxiety here. This person is very much so inexperienced. They're trying to gain experience or, or knowledge when it comes down to love and partnerships and um, <clears throat> all that shit there. <laughs> but this, yeah, this person wants to tell you the truth. And I feel like it's more, more so their feelings than anything they want to speak to you about. What's the, what's the Ten of Wands? What's the Ten of Wands? Okay, five of wands. I feel like this person is too worried about you having competition or people fighting over you versus them actually taking action. Okay. This person doesn't know if you have feelings for them. I feel like you do. There could be other people involved too that could be weighing this person down in the background. This person... Yeah, because there's a mob of people here. Then there's people fighting on this damn uh, five of wands card. So there's like conflict amongst people outside of you and this person's relationship or, or connection. I feel like this is this person too fighting themselves. They don't, what, what's the 10 of wands with the five of wands? There's like, uh, okay, seven of cups. Yeah, three of swords of death and lovers. Yeah, you could be dealing with a Libra. So for some of you, this could be a third party situation. I feel like somebody's heart chakra is transform, transforming or somebody's trying to open up. That's what somebody's trying to do, but they're really having a hard time doing so. This person could have had a lot of options in the past, or they still have these options around them in some kind of way that they're trying to fucking, I feel like they're trying to get them out of their fucking energy or something like that. There's people that's fighting, fighting over this person or fighting over you here that could be causing confusion, illusion. Somebody here has, is multiple choices. Or this person, okay, yeah, this person feels like they, they need to fight off options that you have. Because I feel like you do have options, you have choices. You can get whoever you want. And I feel like that's what's wearing this, this person down. I feel like they're scared. They're scared that you're going to choose one of these options or go in a relationship with someone else. So I feel like they, they need to fight off the competition or that, that's what they feel like they need to do. Yeah, what's the page of swords for cancer? Yeah, so I just spoke the truth here. Ace of swords. So yeah, there's going to be a breakthrough in communication. They're finally going to say something. Ace of Swords is a new beginning. They hope that once they tell you the truth about how they feel or they're hoping that, um, yeah, this person is watching you. They're planning. They're watching you. They're spying on you. They're trying to see when a good time is to come in. That's what's taking so long because it's never really a good time. <laughs> like, I mean, it's never really a perfect time to do this or to do anything, really. You just have to follow your intuition and go for it. And if it's meant to happen in that time frame, it's going to. And if it's not, it's not. I feel like this person doesn't want to fail. They don't want to lose or something like that. Ace of Swords, but this is a breakthrough. This is this person brainstorming how to 
talk to you here. They don't know how to express themselves. They're more logical. So you could be dealing, like I said, with an air sign or it could be a fire sign, whatever. But you could be, um, I feel like that's what it is. This person could be an air sign with fire in their big three somewhere. That's why, why it's so conflicting because they feel like get up and go. They feel passionate. They feel good. They're ready to do something. And then they get in their head. They get stuck. They get trapped. But they feel so deeply for you, though. Like, they can't keep denying those feelings. So this is a uh, clarity coming through with the Ace of Swords. This person is clear on what they want to do, maybe what they want to say. They're going to eventually. I don't know when. <laughs> don't give me the lying, but that's what's showing. After being in their head for so long about it, I feel like finally somebody's going to say something. <laughs> yeah, five of, five of Cups with the Eight of Wands, Page of Cups, again, showing. So... Yeah, I feel like they could just be a bit immature. They're trying to gain knowledge on something. They could even be reading books, looking online to see if what they're feeling is 100% is correct or what you're feeling is, is correct and you're not going to fucking hurt them or whatever. So, mm. somebody knows that they got to come in swing and they can't slack. So I feel like somebody doesn't want to, they they, they want to come in the right way because they know that you have options. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles with the damn uh, goddamn devil. There, There's balance that's trying to be restored in something, but I feel like this person, I don't know if this person has to pay child support. They have to give somebody something. They have to give someone something. Or I feel like this person has a problem with giving and receiving. They don't, they're not used to being given to. They're not used, to, not used to being helped. So I feel like this is this person's mindset. They don't, they don't know how to receive uh, kind gestures from people. Maybe they're used to giving, and and because I feel maybe y'all could be marrying each other, Cancer, because that could be what you're you're tripping about too. Like you've been breadcrumbed by this person, or something like that. Somebody has like a people pleasing complex too. Like they're a people pleaser or something, something something about money or finances or. Somebody here could be trying to abuse uh, their position of authority with this person or there's like strings attached with uh, with giving. It's like if, if somebody gives you something, it's strings attached or something like that is what I'm picking up. Uh, but OK, let's let's keep going. What is Enigma? What is Enigma? OK, yeah, four swords. So a lot of thinking. Yeah, like, like I said, a lot of damn thinking. Yeah, the devil now with the three of cups, the sun at the bottom of the deck, the damn six of cups. This person is just obsessed with you here. They're obsessed with trying to make things work with you. That's what this is. The four of swords is a lot of thinking, a lot of contemplating. I feel like to the point where they're stressed. Somebody's causing more confusion for themselves than what needs to be. So this person is just putting themselves through a lot of shit that they don't need to be putting themselves through. And all you want is an investment. Seven of pentacles, queen of swords. You want this person to invest in you, but it's their lack of security within themselves that makes this connection harder than it has to be because the love is genuine but there's just so much shit surrounding it that could potentially be toxic some of you guys could be dreaming right now okay you're getting answers through your dream state okay for things that are hard to read because this shit is hard to read i mean you don't know what this person is doing i feel like they're so unpredictable and i feel like maybe that's why you like them cancer <laughs> Because they're so unpredictable, okay? People that are predictable, mm, they could be pretty boring. But I feel like you don't like this type of being unpredictable. Like, sir, ma'am, say what the fuck you need to say. I don't like being left in the dark type thing. Like, it's very weird. But, yeah, so you could be receiving dreams through your uh, dream state, okay? When you go to sleep at night or whenever you take naps or whatever the fuck. Okay. <clears throat> What else for Enigma with the damn, this damn devil card keeps wanting to pop out with the, with money. So I, f I feel like this person has a, supervis a superficial view on life here. They could be very materialistic or they don't know. I feel like they don't know how to come in to give you what they what you want here. But I do feel like this person is obsessed with it too. Though. They're trying to get it together. They're obsessed with this. Somebody thinks about this all day and night, literally. But it's really causing stagnation because somebody just... They're not doing anything about it. What is Enigma with the Four Swords? Damn. <laughs> yeah, the Knight of Cups. So, yeah, you could be feeling intuitively or you could be getting dreams and signs that this person is coming back. We have the damn Eight of Swords, the Magician, Page of Pentacles, Four of 
Pentacles. This person doesn't feel like they're good enough for you. That's number one. They, they don't feel like they're good enough for you here. They feel like uh, they don't have much to offer. Okay. This, this, somebody here could be obsessed with watching you through Tarot. Somebody here could be obsessed with watching Tarot here to gain clarity. Okay. But I feel like this is the only way you're getting clarity. But just don't, don't cause yourself to go in a, a negative spiral because... You know, definitely the Page of Pentacles is divination, it's tarot, it's uh, earth magic. You guys could be doing spell work on your finances or something like that. Somebody here, I don't know. I feel like somebody is holding back until they get clear answers is what I'm picking up. Somebody could have done spell work here too, just saying. But, I mean, spell work to keep somebody bound or stuck financially or something like that. So let's let's keep going. The Knight of Cups is a romantic gesture. It's an offer. So you could be dreaming about this person giving you this offer. This person is dreaming about how they're going to do this here. They're trying to think and figure out how to do it. And I feel like it's really not that hard. They just they're doing the most. They want to be perfect, and nobody's perfect. Like <laughs> this person throws me off every time. Cancer. What is Enigma with the Four of Swords and the Knight of Cups? Yeah, the Five of Pentacles. So that could be what this is. This person doesn't have any finances. They don't have any money. Yeah, they, they're, they yeah, they, they see you as a strong, independent person. You're going on about your business. You're single. You, you look good, okay, man or woman. Okay, you're financially stable. You're enjoying the fruits of your labor. And this person here, they really probably don't have much to offer you, but I feel like you don't give a fuck. I feel like that's something you don't care about because you're the type of person that's like well we can work on that together or if we're together of course i'm going to motivate you and help you as long as you're not a bum type of thing but this person is too caught up on superficial shit that's what the issue is they don't they don't understand that you're not that type of person you know that could be what's holding them back because they're used to um basing their value on superficial things 3d things that don't really fucking matter and they also are thinking about the time that they left your ass out in the cold and how much love you gave them and how you were caring towards them and very kind. So they, they're they really trying to figure out how to do this here because they know that you feel in the five of pentacles. You feel left out. You feel like you wasted your goddamn time after you've been patient and and, and all that. But I, yeah, this person's trying to get their shit together though. The money. Three of pentacles, two of pentacles, the emperor. This person is really working hard to get their shit together because <laughs> they feel like they're going to lose you. So they're really keeping an eye on you. They are. What's the five of pentacles right here, spirit, for cancer? Okay, yeah, four cups in reverse. So, yeah, this is them doing something about it. Four cups in reverse is like stop daydreaming, stop sitting here feeling apathetic or sad or playing victim. Get up and do something about it so that way you can do what this is that you want to do for this person or you or whoever. Yeah, this person also feels like you're getting up and you're doing something about it. Since you don't have clear answers, you're moving forward. You're not you're not sitting here anymore. So something here is going to pick up pick up speed a little bit. This is going to be uh somebody finally getting out of their head and stop dreaming or fantasizing. I feel like this person stays in fantasy land. This is why they stay so conflicted because they they're more so in their head than actually doing something about it. They think something's going to fall in their lap and it's not. This person is probably trying to buy you a gift too, but they don't. They don't have enough money to get what they actually want for you. They want to get something of value, a, ni a nice ring, a necklace, or whatever. It doesn't even matter. That's how probably how they show love, Cancer. Acts of service. And they probably want to get the top quality of whatever they're going to give you. And I feel like that's nice, you know? But at the end of the day, baby, if you don't have it, I'd rather for you to <laughs> say that you don't have it. Like, what the fuck? Okay, we king of wands again with the hangman. Yeah, this person is trying to shift their perspective here. Yeah, this person's in love with your ass. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Six of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, the damn Nine of Cups. What they really want is to work on this connection. Some of y'all could have blocked this person, you know, but child. <laughs> so this is finding the, uh, this is getting up and doing something about a situation, just period. What's the Four of Swords about, Spirit? Yeah, three of cups. <laughs> yeah, trying to figure out how to reconcile with you. Just period. And give to you equally. Yeah, possibly give you some type of gift. This person wants a long-term commitment with you. They made a decision because that's what they want to do. You could be dealing with the Taurus with the Hierophant right there showing. But three of cups is this person trying to plan out a reconciliation. They don't They don't know how to do it. Yeah, that's why it says mystery is present. Somebody, you could be very mysterious to this person. Maybe because you're not saying anything. Maybe it's the first time that you're like, no. Fuck you. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to move forward. And that's that. 
they don't know who you're dating who you're seeing <laughs> so that's making this person come forward yeah it says some things just aren't ready to be revealed you are in pursuit of knowledge that must be earned yeah they, they want to know how you feel they need to speak up about it because i feel like they're the ones that put you in this the situation to begin with you know what i'm saying so now it's their turn to step up to the plate and now they're scared they don't know how to do it or they're trying to plan out accordingly but i feel like they're being too methodical and too strategic it's just you're either going to do it or you're not but i feel like this person doesn't want to be rejected either so you know child <laughs> this person is funny what is take action spirit for cancer what is take action yeah justice so yeah something here is going to balance out something is definitely the magician the devil hmm. something is going to balance out here you could be dealing with the libra all right this is karmic justice this is something being made right just period this is a uh, taking accountability for your actions doing the right thing all right being honest being fair some of y'all are taking somebody to court here. Maybe you, you you didn't do it before in the past, but now you know it's time to do it because this person just won't change their ways or they're putting a burden or causing a burden on your relationship here. Or, you know, that could be on that person's side. They, they're dealing with somebody or have a baby mom or baby daddy or something. That could be causing a strain. There's too much of a strain on, the, on this relationship. Okay, that could be zapping all their money and shit like that okay what else would take action with the justice card so this is karma this person is being pushed to do this here i swear yeah the devil with the fool this damn devil been wanting to come out so i'm trying to figure out now what is it now we can clarify the devil guys so you could be dealing with the fool i mean uh an aries or an aquarius So there's a new beginning, but I just feel like there's something toxic in the way here. There's definitely something toxic in the way this person is breaking free from something or they're free from being tied down to something else. What is this um, devil card? Oh, this is just their obsessions getting the best of them here. What is this devil card? Okay, yeah, the death card in reverse. Somebody resisting change. That's the issue. That's the problem. Somebody resisting change. Uh fucking um trying not to change something about themselves or trying to hold on to certain shit that need to be let go of okay no but this death card is this person not being able to let you go either that's what this is they're manifesting you they want to tell you the truth about something this person could have codependency issues or something like that i still feel like there's something that they need to heal what is the devil with the death card in reverse yeah the king of cups this person they're in love with you they are so in love with you it's not even funny this person yeah they're, they're being guided to the unknown they don't know where they're going they don't have all the answers they're not supposed to but they don't know that though <laughs> like sound crazy as crazy as it sounds they're not supposed to know the answers the longer they do this the more you're just going to be like okay well you know i'm not putting in no more work you feel what i'm saying i'm not making no more investments i've already invested seven pentacles i'm good it's your turn to invest something and show that you want this shit or whatever the fuck. But, uh, yeah, this person, I just feel like their thoughts get the best of them sometimes. Well, most of the time, actually. For some of you, this person could be married. They, they, they just got out of a marriage or something like that or they're trying to. They keep holding on to it or maybe something internally is, is, uh, is being held on to is what I'm picking up with their emotions, their feelings. Who oh, child, this person is complicated. They could be an air sign, I'm telling you. <laughs> they could be an air sign because they are so complicated. It's just like, for what? But, uh, yeah, they can't move on from you here. They're scared of this new beginning. They keep repeating negative patterns. And, and they have some type of codependency issues, too, they do. They really, really do. That needs to be healed. But I feel like they're being pushed out of their comfort zone. What's, what's, the, what's the full... This whole reading was about they ass. I barely even saw you, Cancer. I mean, I see the cup's energy, but I still don't feel like that's you. <laughs> I really don't. The tower, yeah. This person is being hit with tower moments after tower moments until they get their shit together and take action and follow their heart. This person has a hard time following their heart, yeah. They don't see that something is going to be beautiful, okay? Coming out of this here, this person standing up for themselves, defending themselves, saying what they need to say. 
Okay, I feel like they gotta stop being a little uh, punk. <laughs> say what you gotta say. Speak up. And I feel like that's the type of person you are, Cancer. And 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 they don't know how to take that. They're not used to it. Yeah, but this person, there's there's a tower moment happening here. <laughs> this person is going through a tower. <laughs> Excuse me. Things in their life are falling apart. Oh, excuse me, because the spirit is trying to push this person into their true authenticity. Trying to get this person to be real about how they feel for once. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, that's your ass. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, they're going to be set free from this shit in a minute, though. That wants to come out. So what else do we have for Cancer? From the spiritual journey oracles. Bottom of the deck is um, self-worth. Your value in this life is immeasurable. You have a beautiful and distinct purpose no one else can claim. Yeah, this person needs to know that about themselves or they're, they're saying that about you. You know your self-worth, but I feel like they don't and that's what they hide. They don't want to talk. That, that That's causing for a deep conversation, okay? If somebody is being vulnerable to you and telling you, oh, well, I never really loved myself or, oh, I never really understand who i was understood who i was until i met you you know what i'm saying type of thing i feel like somebody doesn't know how to speak like that it makes them nervous or whatever but uh spend time in nature came out it says retreat from your busy life and connect with wildlife and mother earth in its raw and beautiful form so some of you guys need to get outside okay maybe this person needs to so they can connect with their inner selves here somebody here needs to go sit by some water okay what else for cancer All right, so we have self-development. It says, recognize needs you may be neglecting and nurture that part of you yearning for growth. Never stop working on yourself. Yeah, so a lot of work is being done to somebody, Cancer. Yeah, igniting your passions. Find that something or someone that speaks to your heart, lifts your mood, and sparks your creativity. If related to work, do what you love. Yeah, this is not, it could be related to work, but I feel like this is a, a, in regards to a partnership. Definitely in regards to a partnership. Yeah, so we have the student is ready. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. This indicates an openness to receive. So this person is trying to open themselves up. They, they're really trying to resist this here, but I feel like they can't do it anymore. This could be a Scorpio here. It doesn't have to be. They can't let you go, but they don't want to open up either. And that shit, that, that's not working for spirit. And that's just wasting time. <laughs> And bottom of the deck is manifestation. Practice practice the law of attraction to attract what you want into your life. What we think is what we create in our physical reality through thought, meditation, and daily affirmation. So this person could be trying to manifest you. They are. They're trying to manifest a new reality with you. Okay, I feel like uh, spirit is pushing them to do this the right way, though. They're becoming more emotionally mature. King of Cups energy coming out. Yeah, so let's pull from the evolution of the soul deck. What do we have for Cancer Spirit from this deck, please? And thank you. Clarify the spread for Cancer. Yeah, they've been trying to resist this shit for too goddamn long. <laughs> Bottom of the deck is difficult road. It says spirit of perseverance, being prepared for great things, walking the hard path in life. So yeah. Somebody here is going through it. I feel like on both ends, it's been very difficult. Okay, but somebody here is persevering through certain things. I feel like now it's reached the hardest part now. This is the hardest part of someone's journey. This expressing and being vulnerable. This person holds you deep in their heart here. They have such an emotional, a strong emotional connection with you. But you're, you're now turning to the Queen of Swords and they, it's making it worse because they don't know what to do. They don't have any confirmation from you that you still want them or you still care about them. So that's really making them scared. But I feel like that's how it's supposed to play out so this person can really evolve and transform. You're not going to know what's ahead of you until you just take a risk. Life is about taking risks. You can't know all the answers. You can't every time. Listen to your intuition and go for it. So this person, they, they're getting prepared or this is you. What else? I feel like this person is very stubborn too. They walked the hard path because they chose that path because of their stubborn ways. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, one more spirit, please. All right, thank you. So we have Polarian. Somebody here could be a Polarian um, star seed. It says, 
Shy away from sudden changes. Yeah, somebody here does not like change. That's that stubborn energy. They could be a fixed sign. It says, great team player, not showy. Stay in situations for a very long time. So, yeah, somebody here just doesn't like change, though. They've been resisting this shit for a long time. They're, they're good to work with, though. I feel like you can tell that. They're a good person to work with, okay? Um, and they're very caring. They're very kind, but they just... I don't know, this person has a hard time changing their toxic ways. That's what makes it hard or worse on you. Because you're like, what the fuck? One minute you're like this and the next minute you're showing me this. Now, what am I supposed to believe type thing? You know what I'm saying? It's, very, it's a very hard journey you're on, Cancer, with this person and, and everything else. But um, this person here stays stuck to certain things for a long time. They probably are unhealthy for them. But they're very loyal, though. That's what I get with that. They're loyal. Once they commit themselves, they, they're very committed. Or that's you. Flip it, switch it. We have perspective shift. Yeah. Phase of deep questioning, seeing through the lies and delusions. Stop seeing life as you once did. So yeah, this person's whole life is shifting. It, it is. They're, they're being forced right now to shift their perspective and look at things differently and, and take a new approach to certain things, especially this relationship. Yeah. So then we have mastery. Mastering what you're being called to, conquering your life mission and discovering your true self. Yeah. So that looks nice. I mean, it's happening. Yeah, but then we have mature soul. Embracing otherness. The lessons are empathy and self-awareness. Then we have traits. Introspective, inquisitive, and sensitive. Yeah, that's, that's that King of Cups energy. That could be you or it could be a person. I don't know. But definitely somebody is very mature or they're maturing into this King of Cups. Now it's just all about... Because uh, I feel like this King of Cups with the Death card in reverse, this is them not being able to let you go. Their spirit is shining a light on the fact that they are obsessed with you. If you if you really love somebody that much, you need to go ahead and take that leap of faith. Like, how long are you going to stay like this? It's just a time It's time to take action. It's time to take a leap of faith. So this tower moment is all about this person taking action and going towards this new beginning to balance things out with you because it's karmically supposed to happen that way with the justice. Or well, they ask and keep getting karma until they fix the situation or until they do what their heart is set on this person is really trying to push this person this uh spirit is really trying to push this person to do things that make them happy and stop doing whatever the fuck they're doing in the background or whatever the hell they be doing i don't know it says breaking contract bottom of the deck contract stop serving your growth freeing yourself from a soul contract and then altering your divine blueprint so yeah they could be freeing themselves from something that they were dealing with in their past or this is you right something that was really not serving them and now it's to the point where they, they want to focus on you and this connection and really uh get things off the ground but now they're battling their emotions their feelings think things could be coming up from their past that is still eating at them okay we're to the point where they um you know things are going to have to kind of like be delayed or put on pause with you and them because that needs to be healed first and spirit is trying to push them into this healing so that way they can yeah unconditional love at the bottom of the deck anime karma i mean kara <laughs> romance soulmates uncommon bond devoted yeah this person the king comes to somebody that's very devoted to you they love you whoever this is they really love your ass a lot but they just whoo bottom of the deck is a leo energy somebody could be a leo we have checkered flag, conclusion, outcome, finale, completion, verdict, settled. Yeah, something could be going on in court for some of you. It says achievement, signaling, signaling the end, finishing first, culmination, I mean culmination, final chapter, endings, feeling relieved. So yeah, I feel like once this person comes in and takes this leap of faith, they're going to feel relieved. Or they're breaking free, like I said, a soul contract is, is over. Okay, they reached the finish line for that. So now it's time to take action and do something else okay or this cycle has closed out with y'all and now it's just up to this person if they're going to come in and make things work or make it right all right so we have heart and home cancer energy that's you happy home security love kindness family belonging bliss contentment comfort established some of you guys could be getting a new home here okay congrats but this could be this person you and your person feel like home to each other. Your hearts belong together. You, you, Some of you guys, your person wants to move in with you. Yeah, I feel like this says boundaries. Yeah, so you set boundaries, but you know that this person is your heart. <laughs> you love them. Okay, they love you too, clearly. But they know that your ass and this queen of swords, you're not, you're not dealing with this person, just period. And they're bullshit. 
Yeah, Libra energy, sword and scales. So yeah, truth, justice, due process, buy the book, appeal, balance, make amends, law, integrity, cut to the chase, fair and square, fair play, equity, I mean equity, even kill, legal matters, hear me out. So yeah, this person wants wants you to hear them out. They do. <clears throat> they do want you to hear them out. I feel like you are. I don't know why they keep child, please. Okay, we have Cancer Energy again, fairy tale. Believe in the impossible. Yeah, daydreams, romantic ending. Yeah, this is going to end really nice. For some of you, if you want your person, clearly it's going to end nice, okay? It's going to end nice. It's going to be fair, okay? It's going to be sunshine and rainbows here, but somebody here needs to get, get to the bottom of what happened between you two. Get your ass on. This damn nets and shit. Now, I, ain't, I, ain't ha I haven't seen no net yet. I don't know what that shit is about. But anywho, um, coin toss, Virgo energy, choices, either or, be fair, considering pros and cons. Yeah, fate equal, two sides to every story. So this person wants you to hear them out. They feel like it's a 50-50 50, 50, 50 chance that you would take them back, and it probably is, okay? And all they can do is really take a chance. They don't know if you're going to take them back or not if they don't take a chance with you, just period. Yeah, that's karma. But that's karma, though, this person... They want you to hear their side of the story, but they feel like you won't hear them out or you're going to over uh, criticize them or be overly critical or something like that. But I feel like with the butterfly effect, something is going to transform instead of end like how they think it is. Okay, we have Scorpio energy again. It says uh, olive branch, truce, surrender, giving in. Yeah, come to terms, suspend, lull, de-escalate, make amends, peace offering. Yeah, reprieve, cease fire, treaty, agree to disagree. Yeah, so so you and this person, I don't know, y'all might have to agree to disagree or something like that. Or maybe you feel a certain way about how they're acting. They feel a certain way about how they're acting. Maybe they feel it's justified, but that's why they need to explain. Because why you feel like your actions are justified? You know what I'm saying? Like, all you're leaving me to do is assume that you just don't give a fuck. So now I got to put my guards up. They don't know that they're the cause of this. They're doing this shit here and it's not fair to you. So you don't have no choice but to protect yourself. And as you should, right? So we have Sagittarius, White Rabbit. It says, spark of curiosity. Spiritual awakening is time. Heed in the call. Research it. Inner knowing. Dark to light. Yeah, going down the rabbit hole. Waking from the dream. Yeah, it's time to wake up. That's why the four cups is in reverse. <laughs> this is four swords right here. This person has been sitting here not knowing what to do. They don't know what to do. <laughs> or you don't I cannot they funny <laughs> this person is really funny <clears throat> so let's see what's the coin toss right here yeah flamingos <laughs> soulmates you could be dealing with the Pisces soulmates lovers union courtship dating attraction seduce long term potential yeah display of affection okay charm the it factor, two of a kind. Yes, they know that you're the one. Yeah, it says happening now. The situation or event in question is occurring right now. So something could be happening between now and I don't know when. But something is happening. Or this person is doing this act, doing this right now. They're realizing that you're the one. This is pushing them into stepping into their, their, their true selves and going towards this new beginning. For some of you, you're already connected with your person right now. Okay, child, this, this person is a trip. <laughs> They are a trip for real. For real, for real. But yeah, so this was your reading, Cancer Shit. Is I barely saw y'all ass, but okay. <laughs> Got some answers about what you're dealing with relationship wise, it looks like. So hey, but all right. Uh like, comment, subscribe, guys. Turn your notification bell on to all. Make sure you guys definitely press the all button so that way you can get all my notifications for when I post. If you don't press the all button, oh, my ears are ringing. If you don't press the all button, you're not going to receive the notifications, okay? So thank you guys for joining me and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.